Ferry Vertman, second in Kazan. Hoping to win the World Championship gold for the first time. About 10 minutes to go, I would estimate. As we're about to go around the second to last turning boy. It's still Vilamovsky, but not by very much as they jostle for position for this second to last turn boy then. Again, those are unofficial timings and don't in any way represent the leading pack at the moment. Oh, there's such a big pack going around there. There's some more swimmers getting in trouble going around that turn boy. Just not able to get clear water. Pack starting to split. Olivier and Vilamovsky side by side, stroke for stroke, matching each other. Impossible to separate them at the moment. Maybe Olivier by a quarter of a length. And then Vilamovsky then picks up the lead. He's at the top of your picture. The Frenchman towards the bottom. Olivier, very conscious of who's around him. You keep seeing him. He's looking to his left and then he's breathing to the side to make sure that no one is trying to go around the outside of him. Then it's Bernal and then it's Vertman, who is currently fourth with the. Uh, he is without a cap. But those the front four at the moment. Can you see that anybody catching them? It looks like there's maybe one or two more in that pack, but. The chase back behind, it looks like they're losing contention altogether. We're starting to get a clearer picture about who's going to be in this home straight in the lead. Who's the best sprinter of those? There's, there's so much quality here. They've won gold medals at the Olympics, gold medals at the World Championships. I've seen them winning gold medals in World Cups. You're talking about the best swimmers in the world altogether here. And look at those swimmers just trying to get in a good position in third there. The referee's going to have a tough time just keeping an eye on all the swimmers. Looks like the Italian. Is that Vanelli who's coming back into contention? Vanelli and Ratchev. About six, seven minutes left of this race. And uh, Marc Antoine Olivier closest to the bottom of the screen. Vilamovsky alongside him with a slight advantage, the one two at the moment. And there's two lines of swimmers as all the chase pack are basically lining up behind each other. Now it's going to be a case of have they expended too much energy in the front? Can the other swimmers overhaul them? We're going to find out once in this next turn, boy, it is the home straight. Berkman just losing his toes slightly. He's looking up, he's going to get back on the feet of Olivier. Two champions leading together. Number 
They're the leaders then. Casey from the USA just beginning to make his move. He's in eighth position. Rajovsky still in contention. Rafini too. Aubrey as well as part of the leading pack. But the front two remain unchanged. Vilamovsky and Olivier. They are the front two. Then it's Bernal. Then it's Vertman. I really do wonder whether the second and third place swimmers at the moment are in a better position than the front two. They really are conserving some energy as they're coming to the home straight and they're right in contention, they're right behind. Perfect location for the Olympic champion. Ferry Vertman looking very confident, he's fourth at the moment towards the bottom of your picture. He's alongside Bernal, up ahead of him, Vilamovsky and Olivier. Ferry Vertman. It looks effortless for Vertman at the moment. But now alongside him as the swimmers head for the uh, very first time in front of the grandstand for the first time. And for the last time, they will see the climax of this race. Can anybody break into that top four? It's going to make, it's going to be a gargantuan effort for anybody to deny the front four, the front four positions, but who's going to medal? Still unclear. And still, it's Vilamovsky and Olivier disputing first position. They are stroke by stroke alongside each other. Then it's Bernal, then it's Vertman. Can you see anybody breaking into those four now? I hate to say anything. We saw yesterday, the, we saw in the women's 10K, the Ecuadorian swimmer coming around out of nowhere. It could happen again, but those top four swimmers are really doing well. It's going to be so hard. They're going at such a fast pace already. They're building up to speed for this home straight. They want to get in the best position possible as they go round that last turn, boy, in front of the grandstands. Here they come, the front four. It's Vilamovsky and Olivier and Vertman and Bernal who press the accelerator and head for home. This is the time to sprint. This is the time to try and gain an advantage. But those two seem in dominant mood at the moment. And we're starting to see the kick coming in now. These swimmers barely kick as they're going around the course. And now the kick's starting to come in as they go around the last turn, boy. Into the final straight then, in front of the grandstand, these four swimmers pick up the pace as they attempt to medal. Who's going to take gold? Can Olivier take a second gold medal? And here comes Vertman. Vertman without the cap comes to the front now. Vertman, Vilmovsky and Olivier, one, two, three. They seem to have burned off the challenge of Bernal. Here they come. It's very Vertman. I think slightly in the lead he is. Vilamovsky comes again. Is Vertman about to take the uh, lead now? Rosowski making a late burst as well. Ferry Vertman closest to the camera seems to have taken the lead. Ferry Vertman, the Olympic champion, second in Kazan. It's a sprint finish now from Olivier, who's just to his left. As they come right in front of the grandstand. Vilamovsky, top of the frame, pushes hard. What a finish here for the men's 10K in the open water swimming. 
It could be a photo finish with three swimmers. And here comes Olivier again as he kicks for gold. He takes on Ferry Vertman. Three in a row. It's still impossible to predict the one, two, three. Is it Vertman? If it is, it's only by a few inches. Right in front of us, still Vertman. Velomovsky and Olivier. Here comes the ferryman. He kicks again. Ferry Velomovsky. I think he's going to get it. Vertman wins it. Velomovsky just takes second. And Olivier, I think, is third. Oh, my word, I can breathe now. That was unbelievable. Ferry Vertman, the ferryman right at the death. He really saved himself throughout that race. Tactically, he sat on the feet of Olivier. Olivier really pushed hard to get back, but look at Vermin, he's out of the water already celebrating. Oh dear, what an end to the race. Very Vertman. Shot of the finish. One, two, three. Quite clear the uh, front three: Vertman, Vilamovsky, and Olivier. Right, such a powerful build, powerful swimmer. That showed his stroke rate was so long. It's because of the power that he has as he pulls through the water. Just about the perfect race tactically, wasn't it, for uh, Ferry Vertman? Held back from the chasing pack and made his move at the right time. Netherlands take the goal.